So welcome back everyone to the Wanneroo channel. So I made a kind of a little bit of a boo-boo and um, ended up with a stuck 300 blackout case in my Forrester sizing die. So this was kind of a silly mistake. <clears throat> I had, um, I was resizing a bunch of uh, 300 blackout brass on the Lee app press and uh you know it was just kind of blazing through the brass and uh made a boo-boo uh i can't remember what exactly happened but a case popped out or there was a problem with the feed mechanism case dropped on the floor didn't even think about it uh reached down picked it up uh wiped it off uh with a towel to get the dirt off of it didn't even think about it and then ran it into the die and as soon as i put it into the, the die I knew I had made a mistake because, of course, I had wiped the lube off. So there again, a lot of times we just have to kind of watch what we're doing um, because, you know, stupid things like that can happen. So I weighed up, you know, sending it back to Forster and all that uh, for like 10 bucks plus shipping both ways. They'll remove the case for you and they will um, go ahead and um polish the die and and all that stuff so you know i had thought about that um, and uh <clears throat> one time before i had a case with rcbs sent it back to them you know and uh you know i don't it was like five bucks or something plus shipping both ways and they fixed it up so you know i'd considered sending it back to forrester and uh just letting them deal with it but uh, i saw that they had a uh, stuck stuck case um, removal kit here and so I thought well <laughs> I'll give it a go and you know I'm just a regular guy off the street so you know it's one of those things um, you know can I actually do this myself it shouldn't be too hard but anyways so that's the situation we're in the other thing too is that I did not have any sort of um, copper or brass they advise you to have for your um, vice so i got these these jcl products soft magnetic two-pack vice jaws and they have one set uh, that uh, is you know for different size uh, bolts and different things like that and they just kind of uh, attach via magnets and then they have another one here it's just a, a soft flat surface so Anyways, I'm trying these out for the first time too. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. So the first thing in the instructions they say is to lock the die in a soft jawed vise. So I think we have it locked in there pretty good. And then let's see here, unscrew the spindle lock nut. So we took that piece off there. We'll put it in our die case so we don't lose it. The little um, rubber washer here, that has to go. And then the spindle bushing. Might have to get my little screwdriver into play here. <laughs> Okay. All right. So now we got the, looks like the spindle bushing. So we got that removed. All right. And then next thing is, it says to place the protective washer on the, let's see here, on top of the die body. So they send you a washer with the kit. And also with the kit here, basically it comes with two different hex nuts. And it also comes with these rods to bang out your case at the end here. Okay, so we put our washer on top. Now we need to select the correct hex nut for the sizing die. I think this one here is going to be it, right? 
Let's see here. Okay, so we're back again. So I cut out some of the fiddle farting that I had to do, but uh, basically to get this uh, this hex nut on there, um, it says to put a little drop of oil on the threads, and that was fine, but had to kind of work it a little bit uh, with a um, small screwdriver and then uh, with my fingers to try to get it going to get it uh, tightened down. So, you know, it wasn't going on like super easy. So had to back it out one time and then go again. And anyway, so managed to get it to where we brought it down. So now we're nice and snug. We have that protective washer there. We put some oil on the threads and we managed to get it in place. So <clears throat> we should be all set to go. So now the next part of this is we got to get that uh, we got to get that spindle out of there so it says um, you can use a wrench so we're just going to keep working it until we get it out of there i'm living it in room here so with uh, the camera and all that stuff so i uh, can't really go 360 here let me turn this other auxiliary light on too so a little bit slower Tighten that up a little bit there. And I see it coming. All right, so that was gonna take all day. So went ahead and cleared everything out of the way. And we're just gonna keep working it here. Looks like something's come loose and boom. Looks like we are done. Success, got it out. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. All right, so we got the whole expander ball out and the spindle. Now we got to get that case out of there. So we got our rod. Let's see, where'd my hammer go? All right. Is it even budging? Oh, let's see. So I don't know if this will help, but uh, we're just gonna put a little bit of a uh, spray lube down there. Cause it is stuck, stuck, stuck. And it's not wanting to cooperate so anyways I'm just gonna leave this, uh, this washer on them actually let me wipe all that off Also, make sure you put the rounded ed end of the rod down, flat part on top. Mm -hmm. 
Is it budging? Baby, there we go. <laughs> okay. So you get to see me smack my fingers with a hammer. Hmm. Look at that case neck there that stretched out. Looks like it stretched out a fair bit there in the die. So whenever we were probably banging it out or whatever. Anyways, so we got it out. Hopefully the die is looking good. So anyways, we'll get in there. We'll give it a nice little clean later on. Hopefully there's no damage or issues. I see like a little ring of debris up there, but uh, you know, I'll get in there with some MP Pro 7 cleaner and kind of clean it up and, and see what we get. And just try to give it a nice little, little polish and uh, hopefully everything works out okay. Oh, where'd our magnet go? Oh, magnet disappeared, okay. So anyways, yeah, got the case out, that's for sure. So, to wrap it up, not all that difficult to use. I'd say at the end of the day, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit kind of fiddly with the spindle and all that stuff. But, hey, I figured it out and, uh, you know, uh, I'm just a dude off the street. So, <laughs> I managed to get it done. And yeah, the, the, the set worked pretty good. Just uh, the instructions are pretty decent. So essentially just, uh, just follow the instructions here. You know, they pretty much go through everything. And um, yeah, you know, so. And it says even if you screw it up, hey, you can still send it into Forrester and they'll uh, remove your stuck case and repolish your die for a little fee. And also if you need spare parts or whatever. So, you know, Forrester, they have their crap together. And, uh, yeah, I'm real happy with their stuff. And, you know, everything always has decent instructions and good quality and all that. So, you know, um, you great stuff there. So, to wrap it up, two thumbs up. Uh, one thumb a little banged up. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> if I get it up. So, um you know, that's my goof. But when that case decided to pop out of there, it sure did. So anyways, thanks for watching y'all. And uh, any questions or comments, leave them below. We're going to, we got a lot more um, in terms of what we're going to be doing coming down the road. So lots of different videos. So um, don't be surprised. There could be a lot of uh, different things that we're going to be doing. So um, yeah, I uh, hope y'all enjoy it and uh, have a good one.